Hello YouTube, it's your host Axel Rose, the Shogun with the slogan, and you are now watching MVP Magazine. Okay people, so the Nintendo Switch has been out for a little while now, and that momentous occasion, that awesome occasion when a Street Fighter game comes to a console has finally arrived, and yes gamers, it's time to celebrate. <laughs> Quite simply put, Ultra Street Fighter 2 is a return to the classic fighting game that was released over a decade ago. And to be honest, after being a little bit disappointed when I first saw this game revealed, after playing it, it's actually really surprising how well this game stands up. Now, at the risk of sounding like a total Street Fighter fanboy, it's actually really surprising how fluid and how balanced the gameplay still is after all this time. Like. Like a lot of other fighting games which have just been released could really learn a lot from this game. Street Fighter V, I'm looking at you. <clears throat> now speaking about Street Fighter V, um, it's a good time to go into features. Ultra Street Fighter 2 does have some rather okay features. Now me being a creative person myself, I love that colour edit mode and stuff like that, it is really cool and stuff. I get to turn the entire cast of Street Fighter into Nigerian, so <laughs> that's always a plus. But yeah, um, the colour edit mode is really cool. The only downside is when you're actually moving the cursor to actually make your characters, it can actually take 50 years just to move across. It is literally like boop, 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 boop. It is really geriatric. But, but apart from that, it's actually a rather good mode. It's more fleshed out than the Capcom versus SNK version. If I don't know if you guys remember creating characters on there. It's very, it's actually very similar to that, but just a lot more streamlined and a lot more just useful because at times when you change the skin color on Capcom versus SNK, that would also be attached to other colors like your character's shadow or certain parts of their attire and stuff. And now you can just change the costume, the skin and the hair individually, which is always, you know, a plus. New to Street Fighter 2 is the training mode. So if you guys remember all those Prima strategy guides, you can do those, you can finally practice and do all those DJ combos, which were just kind of impossible to do back in the day. <laughs> and there's also, a new mode to Street Fighter overall called The Way of the Hado, where you use the Nintendo Switch's motion controls to perform Ryu's trademark special moves. Now, when I first saw this, I wasn't exactly a fan of the concept. I would have much rather preferred them use this graphical art style as an extra mode for the actual game. But after playing it, I could actually see that it's actually kind of fun. And at parties, when you and your friends are a little bit inebriated, this might actually be the way to go. This might actually turn into a fun party game, basically. The only letdown is that the controls are not as tight as they should be. The controls can either bring out the wrong move or just not register altogether, which is a shame because apart from the actual game, this could have been a really fun distraction. Oh well. Now, apart from online mode, which currently isn't available at this time of the review, and a very cool art book, which features a whole load of never seen before artwork and just old cultural pieces from back in the day, which real Street Fighter fan heads will remember. There's also arcade mode, but every fighting game has arcade mode, right? Right. Now, when you look at the overall prospect of the package of Ultra Street Fighter 2, you get the most updated version of the original classic one-on-one -on -one fighter. Arguably one of the best fighting games ever made and definitely the reason why they're at this point right now. If you play a fighting team game and it has a fireball motion in it, it's probably being inspired by Street Fighter at one point. That being said, the asking price for this, depending on your region, may be a little bit too much. Now, I'm from the UK and this game generally goes for £35. Some shops will try and push it for £40 and other shops 
do have it for $29.99 so but the average price you will pay is $34.99 and being that a version of this game did come out about 10 years ago, just before Street Fighter 4 did, that could dampen your mood for purchasing the game. And I completely understand that. Most of the game's core assets and design was here before the Nintendo Switch was even a twinkle in Iwata San's eye. Rest in peace. The core game mechanics, the art styles for both modes of the core game, and the artwork for the collector's edition book was all created before the idea for this game was even conceived. So it just begs to ask, what actually did Capcom do but take all of the content and drag it and drop it into a folder on an iMac? The way of the Hado is a really cool idea and distraction, but even that's not fleshed out fully enough or finished to the point of being ready for prime time. Which is really funny, because for everything this game does right, there seems to be some kind of caveat. And it's really up to the person who's looking at this online or in the shop to see how much this is worth to them. Now, for my American viewers, I'm not so sure if $40 really can justify this, especially when Injustice just came out. And even though I have a personal beef with Street Fighter V, that would be a much better purchase for your money than this. Now, I'm a huge Street Fighter fan and I do have a lot of fun on my Nintendo Switch. It's actually one of my favorite consoles at the moment. So it was a no brainer to pick this up, especially because it's only 33 pounds in the UK. Shout outs to my boy that gave me the hookup. But I'm not sure if I could have honestly brought myself to pay £40 for this and just feel cool and stuff like that. I would have actually had to do some Street Fighter in real life just to make myself feel, <laughs> just to make myself feel better. But yeah, let me know what you think about this. Do you think that this game is worth $40? I mean, the gameplay and everything, I'm not gonna lie, it is really smooth and really good. I've been playing a load of SNK fighting games on the, on, on the Nintendo Switch. And to be honest, initially I thought how this game was going to stand up next to it. But I was very pleasantly surprised when I first booted this game up. The speed and fluidity of the gameplay was on point. I'm not going to lie, I was actually really shocked. Uh, before I thought this was going to be kind of a casual novelty purchase. Like, okay, I've got Street Fighter on my Nintendo Switch, so I'm good for doing a Dragon Punch like when I feel like it. But... It actually looks good and it's animated nicely, would have preferred a couple of more frames obviously but since this is based on Street Fighter 2, you know we can't really get that but it is, it is fun, I'm not gonna lie, it really is fun and one thing I will give them, now when I initially thought, saw this I was like oh crap, I'm definitely gonna need a pro controller, now this might not be, this might not work for everybody but I initially thought I was gonna need a pro controller, but the Joy-Con serviced this really well. I can actually use the D-pad on this without having to resort to the joystick. So whether Capcom added some input leniency to the game to make it work better on a Joy-Con, yeah, that was definitely a smart move because it's actually, it's actually kind of right. It feels right on this. So yeah, I will give them that. Now to sum it up, the core mechanics of this game are still awesome still brilliant and still fun which is most important the only thing that's hindering this from being a day one buy is the price and the overall lazy delivery this game could have been something really special to the fans to celebrate the 30th anniversary of street fighter instead it kind of does reek of lazy port so it's up to you how much you want this or not so yes, if you are new here, let me know what you thought in the comments, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace.